Other was lit, dude. Fuego. That was that was pretty. Fuego. Good. I'm super excited to see that, but that's a long ways away. We got a game coming up right now, though. This is losers quarterfinals. It says losers semis, but it is losers quarters. Uh, the last best of three of the day. The Femme Fatale, Samsora, and DeBuzz fighting against Tweak and Captain Zack for the rights to play Mekos and Mystery. Yeah, absolutely. And we see Captain Zack going way out there trying to edge guard Rosalina. And that's kind of what's going to be the difficult part for Rosalina versus uh, um, Bayonetta. Right, Bayonetta, thank you. Is the fact that that upbeat is so exploitable, honestly, by both of these characters. And pretty linear recoveries on the side of the red team. They can get they can get beat up by that witch time. Well, you can go for the witch time on the on the peach. But you can't really go for it on Rosalina. There's no hitbox, but that just means you can go for any other stuff you want. Yeah, it's it's kind of rough, man. And we see right there. Oh my God, the the back air on Luma for good measure too. The survival di excellent here, but Ooh. oh, buddy. Okay, that will be enough to kill. I thought like with a, a bunch of stray hits thrown in there on top of that finishing touch that there was a chance. Rosa would live, but not meant to be. And just comes back in and immediately gets witch timed off the spawn platform. DeBuzz unfortunately taking 38% from Jump Street there. Yeah, this is a, uh, again, just, we're seeing heavy aggression come out from the blue team. They want to be in your face, throwing in mix ups, and you, you never know what to look out for. Oh, we see Tweak able to combo the turn up into Captain Zack's Nair there. Yeah, I was curious. Like, I, all these players are good at item play, but no item required to take that again. stock. DeBuzz is dead again. Everyone else, had, like, there's nine stocks, and he's just left right now. But this could be tweaks. Oh, okay, good coverage there from Zach, walling out at the ledge. However, Samsora sneaking in so persistent. Yeah, the narrow was enough to do it. Now Samsora walling Bayonetta out, taking it out with that fair. Ah, oh, cloud falling up there, man. We saw the buzz over there just briefly as the as the uh, Peach Bayo interaction was going on. Uh, the buzz had a juggle going on Tweak, and Tweak managed to just get just low enough to throw out that falling up air. That upward angle there from the buzz gonna save him. Never mind. Never mind. It didn't save him. And in the blink of an eye, a four to three game turns four to two. Just great awareness from Tweak finding that finishing touch out of the back throw from Captain Zack. And that was an unfortunate miss there. We saw DeBuzz get the landing Lunar Land Nair into their jab three, and unfortunately, Samsor was not able to connect with the Parasol. That would have been enough to do it. Parasol is obnoxiously good in doubles. Great aggressive option here from DeBuzz to help him recover past the wall Captain Zach was presenting. Oh, and just misses the standing grab. I almost guarantee you that he was trying to get the dash input in and instead eats an F smash for his troubles. Team, ooh! That's so a good trade. So smart, so smart. DeBuzz going for the going for the hard committal option and Tweak just saying, okay, if I'm going down, I'm taking you with me. <laughs> and draw! <laughs> right behind him. This is going to be a tough spot here for, Ka for sorry, Samsora. Ooh, but he takes the tiara off and smacks him across the stage. So now it's one stock apiece for all the players, but <laughs> booty bumps for everybody. Uh, this is going to be really difficult because he's one grab away from dying. We haven't seen a, uh, a victory in a one versus two yet today. Okay. That was, that was a little bit extra. That was a little bit extra. <laughs> Put a little sauce on that one. I was wondering what he was doing. Did he get the witch time, and then he like kind of just? I thought he was gonna turn around, up smash. He neutral to hopped a couple times, and I was like, "What's what's the plan here?" Nope, just going to the platform and taunt. I thought I was gonna be tweak up smash into Bayo turn around up smash from the platform, which would have definitely sealed the stock at like a very low percent, but it mm -hmm. wasn't even necessary. Interestingly enough, this is a, a Louisiana team kill. You're right. Yes, actually, Sam Sora the number one, Captain Zach the number two. It's actually kind of fascinating because um, historically, Sam Sora has kind of ran Louisiana for a very long time, but at nationals, Captain Zach tends to outplays him. Mm -hmm. Captain Zach, uh, maybe knocking on that door of top ten in the world. He has had a very impressive run at the most recent big tournaments, including Genesis Four, getting fourth place in like Civil War, getting a. Uh, I forget what he finished at Civil War, but he finished very high. I believe it fifth, right? Yes, I believe it was fifth. Yeah, I think. Oh, because he fought, he fought Fatality, and Fatality got the win. Can we talk about Fatality's run for a second? That was like, so good. Like the matches that he had to go through, he had to kill Nairo, which is a tough matchup for Falcon. He had to kill um, Kirihara, not Kirihara. Trella. You oh. forgot? You, you just like 
lost over Trella. I forgot about Trella. You're right. You're right. That was his pool match to he make beat, it out winners. He beat Trella, uh, which is hard for hard for Falcon. Like Ryu Falcon's not a fun time. Uh, he had to beat Nairo, which is also not a fun time. He had to fight Como, which is not a fun time. He had to fight Zack, which is probably Falcon's worst matchup. The yeah, man that's put a in work. One. The man put in work. Did we see the Olimar switch? I think we saw the Olimar switch. Yeah. Makes a lot of sense. I like this Olimar here. Um, I figured that was that was going to be the case when, since we saw a tag input being made. And so here we go on Battlefield. Uh, Olimar just looking to get these grabs off. The Olimar grab game is so strong. Oh, it's obnoxiously good. He's the tiniest grappler in the game, but one of the best. And I think the scary thing about it is the fact that he's so underdeveloped still, too. Like, the amount of things you can do with the different Pikmin is really crazy. That's going to kill him, though, and that's obnoxious. Holy wow. cow. He had all the time in the world to set up that dare. Oh, and there goes Sam Sora. No, the familiarity with this matchup to allow him to survive that really dangerous situation. And in the early going here, this blue team does not look like they're slowing down despite the Alamar switch. Alamar hasn't really had much time to establish himself on the ground. Yeah, we see right now he just now gets a full alignment of Pikmin, but was rocking Monique for the uh, solo Monique for the longest time. And that's not where you want to be, even though you do have access to that, that, that purple uh, side B, which is really useful. But you want to have all your Pikmin, of course. And like when you're getting juggled like this, you don't have time to set up. And that means that Tweak is left alone with Samsora, gets the cross slash. And I don't, uh, this might be too little too late here for Almar. We'll see. But that was a great Peach Fair. I love the, the the mashing of Whistle to try to get past Captain Zack there. It's not as good as it was in Brawl, but it's still a very good option. Has a little bit of intangibility, not quite as much, which is why you don't see the Olimar's living to 200 anymore. Yeah, I, I, miss, I miss Brawl Whistle. That was always so fun. I would annoy my casual friends with it. But anyway, Red Team has their stage control now, and this could be their time to shine. They've got the percent really worked up here on the cloud. Ooh, no tech from the buzz. He's got only one Pikmin, so it's a little bit easier for him to get back. And Sam Sora cleans up the Captain's Axe stock. And just like that, it's back to four stocks apiece. And I mean, this, this is possible. I mean, they can they can get the lead here and maybe just keep this consistent uh, play, play that we've seen for a little bit now as Red Team has had. Dash, dash attack gives him the lead. And now they get this one versus two onto, onto Captain Zack, and they're getting in good damage here, good hits left and right. Ooh, gets the purple up smash. 26% from that conversion. Big damage. Alomar is so, like if you if you fall asleep on Alomar for a second, he just puts in insane damage just out of two grabs. And he just throws, and there's so much going on at once. We saw even there, the Captain Zack was able to get through it. But one of the more interesting things that Alomar can do from the air is Pikmin toss into Ariel or Ariel into Pikmin toss. Pikmin toss is one of the best projectiles in the game. It's so fast, it can kill, it does so much things. But the fact that you have two massive quick hitboxes back to back like that, it's so difficult to deal with. The up smash here going to seal out Samsora, but this is Almar sticking around. Very good survival awareness here from DeBuzz. He's staying alive, getting big damage at these low percents, but the back here actually, as I say it, takes him out. All on our last stocks here. Tweak is the lone person at three per or three numbers on his screen. And we see here DeBuzz taking a second, only has the, the red, I believe. No, he's got the electric Pikmin. All right, he plucks up a pretty good line right now. Red and purple are very good at racking up damage here. And that purple can seal out a stock if he finds a Captain Zack making some kind of mistake here on the edge. All right, how will this edge guard from Sansora continue? It will not. Oh, oh tweak! Stop! You gotta be kidding me! Huh? All and right. Single starting early at CEO Dreamland. Let's see if the Buzz can force a game three. <laughs> oh my goodness! That was one of the dumbest interactions I've ever watched. <laughs> spike there, spike there. Okay. You know what? That's so tweak. That's like one of the most tweak things <laughs> we've seen so far. Just going in and saying, Zach, I trust you to finish out this game. Let's get it done. Okay, so let's get into Bayo Olimar. For those of you that don't know, if Bayonetta has a Pikmin on her at any time, she can run up in Witch Time. Like, mm -hmm. that's, that is so dangerous. And this is why you see the buzz being a little bit light on these Pikmin throws. I mean, right now, 98%. If he had a red Pikmin, he could go to uh, red down throw. Oh, but the witch time misses, and the purple is right there to answer. Just like that, and you saw the you saw the standing grab there from uh, Bayonetta. Bayonetta probably with one of the worst grabs I feel in Smash Four right now. Like it's it's slow. It doesn't really lead into many things, and it cost Captain Zack the game there. So Tweak's aggression there, Conan came back to haunt them so quickly. 
So now we see the pivotal game three to advance into loser semis and advance into the best of five series. You know that Almar, it was getting juggled really heavily at the start of that game two, like getting knocked every which way. Cloud was up there and Bayonetta was witch twisting as they do. But in the end, he found himself, he found a way to got, get planted. He kept his composure. He didn't let like the early like disadvantage like get into his head because DeBuzz is of course a, a seasoned competitor and he was able to clutch it out. So here we go, game three. I don't know where we're gonna, where do you think we're gonna be headed? I would assume Triplats, Dreamland, yeah, makes sense. Like it's a super good pick for both Cloud and Bayo, so I'm honestly a little surprised to see it open. But here we go, we are on CEO this stage <laughs> for game three. The namesake, this is the first time we've seen it too. I'm excited, all right, let's go. There's the Wispy on stage. We haven't had a good view of the of the Wispy on stage with the with the stage cam, but I hope we can cut to that at some point. But meanwhile, Captain Zach pressing all kinds of buttons on that left magnifying glass. Big 60% already racked up. Now, they did have an opportunity to put a lot of extra pressure on DeBuzz, but instead, as he came back, he came back Pikminless, which is really hard sometimes for Olimar to get that back set up. He was able to get all three drawn, though, so a little bit of a missed opportunity there. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like... It's almost like a light uh, Nanalus Bopo. Yeah, where yeah. You just put on crazy pressure, although it's easier to get it back. I think, I think honestly, the best the best description of it in this game, parallel wise, is uh, Rosa without Luma. Mm -hmm. uh, just because you have like that quick return to it, and you know it means so much. Ooh, got the red back air. It's not gonna be enough to do it. Red having the second strongest aerials behind purple. Samsora is the lone person who lost that stock, but the cross slash evens that up. It is four stocks to six. Team Blue looking to move on here. And they're trying to make a statement too. Ooh, both players off stage now. How's the follow-ups? And red at red toss, not quite enough to do it. Good DI coming out here from Captain Zack. That has so much knockback. I was surprised it didn't kill at the ledge, actually. Yeah, I thought it was an F-Smash at first, but then I realized if that had been an F-Smash, that stock would just vanish. Mm. Ooh, but that fair is gonna do it. Basically an F-Smash. Yeah, <laughs> you might as well be. F-Smash in the air coming out from Peach. It's like the rivals of Aether character, uh, Raster, who can just do his smash attacks in the air. Yep. Something like that. Yeah, the, the clap, baby. But here comes Captain Zack with a big combo. Samsora trying to interrupt, kind of buying the buzz some time to get back to the stage. We haven't seen that interaction yet, but that's something to keep uh, keep an eye on. Because if Captain Zack does get super high and Samsora is able to pair us all up below him, that will be a quick stock. But quick stocks aside, Olimar now down to his last stock thanks to that off, sta um, off the top combo from Captain Zack. Great conversion from Captain Zack. Remember, remember he's just known for doing that. Remember when people said this character was, uh, character was dead after the nerfs? Oh yeah, top twenty maybe, Rosa. <laughs> top twenty, baby. <laughs> I uh, I'll be the first to toot my own horn. I said even after the buff, she was the best character in the game. But uh, Captain Zack, honestly, one of the people that's proving uh, proving me and now a lot of other people are right. It's just the amount of progression in the meta. Ooh, he's double nair there from Tweak. He's gonna have to up B. But he can't follow up. Big punish onto Samsora, and now the, the bleeding's got to stop here if Red Team wants to win this game. But I don't know if almar has got a chance. He keeps getting juggled off stage, and oh, he's, he's just dead. sitting duck. Down he goes. All right, so Samsora is going to have to play out of his mind to pull this off. We've yet to see a 2v1 come back in top eight. I have a funny feeling that we're probably not going to see it start now. It would take either some of the craziest Peach play I've ever seen in my life, or, or just some of the multiple biggest missed help. inputs. Multiple F-Smashes help. That does help. It's the start of something. Oh, and okay. That's one. We'll see here. Samsora is really good at this game, so do not count him out just yet. Oh, absolutely not. But so are the rest of these characters left on the stage. One grab is all it'll take. Or a Bayonetta combo, getting big that damage off. That too. Yeah. Not enough. Interesting that he went for the backer there. Tried to just obviously get the uh, the clean confirm out of it, but you know was enough to do it. Ooh, spot dodges the up B too. Samsora pushing all the right buttons, but it's just not enough. Captain Zack and Tweak march on. At this, at this point, I want to know who put them in losers in the first place. A big three to two, or that's three to two. I'm used to these best of fives, but it's a two-one victory here for for Captain.